In this video, I'm going to show you how to beat every defense in Madden 23. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. With that said, let's get into it. In this video, we're going to be looking at plays out of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive ebook. And if you want to be able to beat every defense in the game out of multiple different formations, head over to winmadden.com and check that out today. Let's start with one of the most popular defenses in the game, a cover three. Now this is called a cover three because it is three people that are guarding the deep part of the field. We have three deep zones, they're in deep thirds. Now cover three does a pretty good job of covering deep and it also does a pretty good job of actually guarding the flats. You can see that we've got two hard flats on the field. You may see people in cloud flats, you may see them in curl flats, you can see them in a variety of different things. But we need to identify the weak parts of a cover three and how to attack it. So I'm gonna give you a couple different concepts that you can use to easily attack cover three defense. And the first one I'm gonna show you is a play called four verticals. Now this is a very simple play. Again, this is out of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers ebook, but it's a incredibly simple way of attacking cover three to the seams. Cover three is very weak in the seams. And when I say seams, I essentially mean the areas where the numbers are, essentially the yard lines of where we're looking at on the field. So number 17 is going to be a very nice read for us against cover three defense. You're going to see that he just finds a nice little home. That we're going to be able to pass lead that right up the seam for an easy 20, 25 yard gain. And again, that is going to be very consistent against any cover three. But another way to attack cover three is to actually use a concept called a flood concept. So if we take a look at this here, we're going to have a almost flood concept with this play, but I'm just going to make one change to make it a pure flood concept. I'm going to put B on the streak route. And the flood concept essentially means that we've got three players flooding one side of the field. They're all going to the right side. Now this concept is going to do a very nice job because RB is going to be our short read and that will be open when our opponent has any type of curl flat or cloud flat out there. We can take the check down with that. And if the opponent has a hard flat of any kind, then we're going to have our A route for a very nice gain to the sideline um, because our B route is going to push any deep third down the field with it. So let me just snap this here and I'll show you what I mean. That our B route is going to be guarded by the hard flat and we have this A route now wide open for an easy 25, 30 yard gain against any cover three defense. But again, I want to reiterate, you do have to make the read with this player, player right here. If he drops into some type of curl flat or he's got zone drops where he's playing deeper, then he will play the corner route, but then you'll just take this check down to the underneath receiver. A simple flood concept. Again, it just puts this player in conflict. You just make the read. Is he playing low? Is he playing high? And you throw to the other one. And now let's take a look at a cover two defense. Cover two does a much better job of guarding underneath versus cover three played a little bit more balanced, right? Where it did have deep coverage and it had underneath coverage. Cover two is much more designed for third and short, fourth and short. And that's when you see a lot of opponents actually run this. Now, in order to attack a cover two, we want to attack the deep middle of the field and the deep corners. That's the easiest place to get open against the cover two. So we're currently in our Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive ebook, and we're in the formation gun tight. The first play that we're going to look at is simple. It's going to be the play bench. And we're going to do a simple flood concept that we did actually talk about in our cover three video as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our X receiver on a streak. We are then going to drag our A receiver. And you're going to notice that we now have a flood to the left side of the field. And we have our X receiver who's going to push that deep half down the field. We've got our A receiver who's essentially going to be our late flat read. And we're just reading this outside cornerback right here. And if he's in a hard flat, we're going to have the corner out. If he's in some type of cloud flat or curl flat or they have zone drops on, maybe we want to take the underneath check down to our drag route. So let me snap it here and I'll show you exactly what I mean. But that flood concept is just going to work beautifully. We're going to have this Y receiver for a huge gain on the sideline. An easy concept to dominate cover two. Again, flood concept, it works in cover two and it works in cover three. Now I want to go to a different concept that is going to be very effective against cover two defense. And now we're going to start attacking a little bit more of the actual outside. Now there's easy cover three beaters. There's also easy cover two beaters. And this play Buck Seams does a phenomenal job of beating cover two. And all we're going to do 
to make this one of the best cover two beaters in the game is we're going to put a deep flood concept on the left side of the field and then we are going to motion this guy out and he's going to attack the deep right corner and we're going to have our a receiver our tight end attack the deep center of the field so we're going to have everything attacked here we have the deep left we have the deep center and the deep right attacked from this play. So as I snap this, I'm gonna hang on to it as long as possible, but then I'll go into instant replay and just show you the reads here. You're gonna notice that just everything does a phenomenal job attacking cover two, and this could easily lead to one play touchdowns. So let's take a look at this in instant replay and show you how effective this route combination is against any cover two defense. First of all, we're gonna take a look at the read that we threw, and he's just wide open. There's nobody over here. We pass lead this straight up. If we get a better animation, we rack that up for a touchdown. But if we take a look over to the left a little bit, our deep tight end is running freely down the middle of the field. We could easily pass lead that up for an easy, huge gain. And then, like we talked about earlier, we've got a deep flood concept to this side. We just don't have a drag route coming underneath, but this streak pushes the deep half down the field, allowing us to throw an extremely deep corner route to the left side. So we have everything just torched against this cover two, and those are two extremely easy ways to attack a cover two defense. And next, we're gonna take a look at cover four. And cover four is called cover four, obviously, because it's got four deep zones protecting deep. So it does a very good job of protecting deep, does less of a good job of protecting short and underneath. Now, we can attack cover four in a lot of different ways, but it is something that you need to be patient with and something that you can't force the ball down the field with. Now, I'm gonna talk about a couple different ways of easily beating this defense, but the first thing I need to let you know is there's a couple different ways of running this, right? This could be a traditional cover four drop that will play like it's traditional zone coverage, where they'll actually play four deep zones, but this could also be run as match. So I'm gonna cover the match component in the next video. But in this video, I wanna show you just a very simple way of attacking cover four consistently. And if you run this to the short side of the field, you can see that the ball is on the left hash mark right now, the short side of the field is the left. We can run a simple smart routed out route to dominate cover four pretty much every time. So if you don't know how to run a smart routed out route, what you do is you put your X receiver right now on an out route and you can see he runs about five yards down the field but we want to make that a little bit better we want him to go to the first down marker so if it's first and ten second and eight you know third and fifteen if all we do is we smart route him he will now go to the first down marker and i want to show you how effective this is at just getting what we want so we want to clear out another receiver that might be running in that area but this is going to do a very good job because that deep quarter is just going to run down the field and we're going to have this out route for an easy 10, 15 yard gain every single time against cover four defense. It's just incredibly easy, incredibly simple, and we have to force our opponent to adjust to that and to guard it. Additionally, any type of table route, like from our running back here, if they're not playing hard flats, we can just take this, take the free yards, go to the next play. We can easily gain five yards consistently doing that. Now, I do wanna talk about a couple concepts because this is something that we can just continually use over and over and over again. And first thing that I wanna talk about is um, our curl flats combination. Now, we did this out of a cover three, but it is so, so effective against cover four. I love this play particularly because it's running a curl flat to both sides of the field. So if I snap this and they don't have hard flats, we can just take that, take our five yards, go to the next play, very easy. Now let me show you what happens if they go into hard flats, right? So now it's a cover four with hard flats. And again, we're just making the read. Where is that uh, flat receiver gonna go? He runs to the flat route. Cool, we're gonna take this check down to X. We're gonna take our 15 yard gain. We're gonna go to the next play. Again, a super easy way of attacking a cover four. And then finally, we can run, like we've done before, a flood concept where, you know, maybe we do something like this where we put our running back on an in route. We'll clear out everybody else over here. But now to the left side of the field, we've got a flooding concept, and we're just again reading where the flat zone is going to defend. Our X receiver is going to push any deep quarter, deep half, deep third down the field with them, and we're essentially just saying, all right, well, they drew deep there, we're just going to take our check down, and we'll rack that up the field, get our big yards. We run the same concept, and they have hard flats on the field, for example. So we'll run the exact same concept here. That's what we're running on offense. And again, let's change this now to hard flats on defense. Now, 
they're going to play this underneath route, and we're going to have this Y route to the sideline. Again, a super easy concept that just dominates pretty much every zone defense in the game. The flood concept is so good, you can use it over and over and over again. You just got to make the read on the flat defender. And now it's time we dive into match defense. So again, we're in cover four quarters, but I did turn the match setting on. Now, if you don't know match coverage, I can't do it justice by giving you just a five second explanation of it, but I'll try. Um, essentially, it's a zone defense that's going to turn into a man defense. Each one of these zones has a man responsibility to them. And when the ball is snapped, you're gonna see the man up on somebody and they're gonna go guard them. So. What we want to do to attack this is I like two different concepts. First of them is a meshing concept. So what that is, is essentially people running uh, from opposite directions towards each other and then past each other. So you can see our running back who's on an in route and our RB receiver who's on a drag route. I really like this concept against mesh because uh, they're always almost running away from their defender. And we're just going to eventually have one of them come wide open and we're gonna be able to throw that and gain our yards. Now, this is somewhat inconsistent, which makes it like, and it's just always match. Match is funky, it does weird things. Sometimes that's to your benefit, sometimes that's not to your benefit, it's to your opponent's benefit. But for the most part, you're always just going to get somebody open. Like look at this, wide open, huge gain, and you're gonna get huge yards on some type of mesh concept. Now, another concept that I like to use is a flood concept, but a flood concept that doesn't involve a corner route. Match does a phenomenal job of guarding corner routes, so you really wanna stay away from them when your opponent's running a lot of match. But if we take the same play, and we put RB on a flat route here, I'm gonna block the running back just for blocking sake, but now we've got a flood concept again to the right. But this flood involves an out route instead of a corner route, and that's very important. I'll show you why with a corner route in a second here. But because he's on an out route, he doesn't really get matched until very late, and we're gonna be able to complete that for a very nice gain against any match defense. But let me show you it with a corner route here real quickly. So let's go to the play Y corner. We'll set up exactly the same concept, right? Same exact thing. But I'm gonna try to avoid the pass rush here, but you're gonna notice that the deep inside third right here is going to eventually match on this corner route and that can get intercepted so we really really got to be careful running corner routes against match and you're gonna see he eventually reacts to him and he almost picks the ball off so that being on an out route instead of a corner route using the same flood concept is still very effective but against match make sure it's an out instead of a corner route and finally we're going to talk about man defense so you're going to see a lot of man coverage this year uh, it is one of the meta defenses in the game whether they're blitzing out of it whether they're playing more drop back man coverage you're just going to see a lot of it so we need to have a couple ways to attack it now i believe man coverage this year is less about certain plays and it's more about your player and abilities so Essentially, route running and the abilities will beat man coverage, and actual route concepts and certain types of plays will beat zone defense. So, let's talk about it though. Uh, first of all, you can see that we've got a spread formation here. You can do this out of any formation, whether it's tight, whether it's spread, whether it's under center, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna talk about certain routes that just do a better job against man coverage versus others. So first of all, you're gonna wanna look for plays that have C routes on them. You can see Mike Evans, our X receiver, is on a C route. You're gonna look for plays that have post routes, like Chris Godwin here, he's on a post route going over the middle of the field. And then you can also look for plays that have corner routes, you can look for plays that have slant routes, or you can just put players on those routes. So for example here, we can put our Y receiver on a slant, we can put RB on an out route, we can put our B receiver on a zig route. Those are all routes that will beat man coverage. Now, I'm gonna snap this ball, I'm gonna hang on to it as long as possible, and then I wanna talk about the next thing that you can do to really make sure that you're doing a better job of getting open against man coverage. So let's snap it here. And you're gonna notice that we're gonna get a decent amount of receivers open here, and we're gonna be able to complete that for a really, really nice amount of yards. Now, you might have noticed Chris Godwin lit up there, and what do I mean by lit up? He has an ability, and abilities are really, really key in beating man coverage. Um, route concepts beat zone, 
abilities and route running beat man coverage. So Chris Godwin has Slotomatic on him. In order to really do your best against man coverage, you really want to try to find receivers that have Slotomatic, Route Tech, Short in Elite, Deep Out Elite, Mid in Elite, any of those elite abilities are absolutely going to help you against man coverage. Now let's take a look at the C route on the opposite side of the field here. Now I'm going to put a Y on a streak just to push the deep half down the field here, but that C route will also do a very good job against man coverage, but you kind of have to trust these throws. So you do have to go into practice mode and actually try these routes because this looks like it's covered for most of the route, right? Look, he's trailing behind him, but this is a scary throw right here. Like what if Campbell just turns around and picks it off? Well, he won't. And unless you actually go in and practice this route, you're not going to know that he's open. And the same thing actually applies to even routes like this. Like this is a post route. This looks scary to throw right now. But look what happens in one more step. Boom, he's way past him. So I do highly recommend against man coverage going into practice mode, really developing a scheme that you're going to run and figuring out if they're actually open and when to throw it if they are open. So man coverage, very good, but really the focus of it is finding any post route, any C route, any slant route, having abilities and having receivers with good route running. Being able to beat every defense in the game is one thing, but if you don't know what your opponent is running, it's completely useless. In this video, I show you how to tell exactly what defense your opponent is in before the ball is even snapped. 